wall to wall on the situation in Iran. On the telephone from Paris right now, where he attended one of the many pro democracy rallies across this planet today, is Ali Raza Jafar uh, Zadeh. Uh, Ali Raza, uh, uh, you, uh, you have uh, been active in, uh, in Iranian, uh, uh, the, the dissident movement. Tell us about the rally today. How many people showed up? What was the tone of it? What were they saying? Well, um, it was an amazing uh, event, uh, Geraldo. Uh, as many as 90,000 people, according to some uh, media reports, uh, attended this uh, rally. There were people who were very young, uh, you know, boys, girls, uh, elderly women from all strata of society. Uh, they all had one very strong uh, message, and that was to uh, relate to the um, uh, demonstrators in Iran, um, whose call was not really about elections, was rather about the, uh, the nature of the regime and the future of the, the government and uh, negating the whole regime. Uh, the keynote speaker uh, was a very uh, uh, talented uh, woman, um, uh, Mrs. Mariam Rajavi, uh, who uh, really got the crowd on their feet uh, in saying that uh, this is the beginning of the end of the Iran regime. And, uh, well, let me stop you there, Ali Raza. Do you, believe, do you believe that this is the beginning of the end of the theocratic regime in Iran? I think to a good extent uh, she is correct in saying that because all the indications that we see in the developments in Iran are indications of um, a major uprising um, uh, or, if you will, a revolution. Um, First of all, it's, it's so extensive and widespread. It's not limited just to students, for instance, or the workers or the teachers or so. Uh, second, um, it's very deep-rooted. Um, the, the people have uh, overcome the fear factor. This is the, uh, something that was there for the past 30 years. And as soon as the Supreme Leader and the Revolutionary Guards uh, ordered something, the people were afraid of uh, uh, the Revolution Guards, and they would uh, they would generally obey. In this case, uh, remember, uh, the, the, today's event was very different than all the other developments uh, in the past seven days and all the other de developments in the past 30 years because they defied a clear uh, order by the Supreme Leader not to come out in the streets specifically Otherwise, they would face um, that's right. Sheer repression. Okay, exactly. Ali Raza, stand so, by. I just want to go to General Clark uh, on this issue of the significance of what's going on there. Do you, General, have uh, uh, any reason to believe that this is, as he suggests, or is it hopeful thinking, the beginning of the end, the beginning of a revolution, a counter-revolution, or is it merely a squabble uh, that will sort itself out with a little give here or reform here, uh, a little bit of enfranchisement? there. I don't think it's a squabble that will sort itself out. I think it is something much more profound. But whether it will bring a change in the regime or more fundamentally a change in the Constitution, all that remains to be determined. This is very much a function of how the regime responds and what the attitude of the people is toward that response. There's clearly been a break in the supreme authority of the Islamic clergy at this point. So, uh, and, and the economy hasn't been kind to the people. Uh, percent inflation so, rate and huge unemployment right. that's certainly true right so there's a lot of unhappiness there and uh, if it's if they're a and that's when they had their oil money it, maybe they'll that's patch oil it over. twice as much as it is know. today well they may be able to patch it over I don't think so I think but it's a question of this is a ticking time bomb against the current leadership and the current structure gotcha. it may be met by short-term repression but in the long term I think this is the kind of process that's going to deepen the dissatisfaction with the government and ultimately will bring about a change well I from your lips to God's ears uh, Reverend Sharpton uh, Hillary Clinton took out those ads and what happens if the 3 a.m. phone call comes to to, uh, President Barack Obama, it seems to me his phone's ringing off the hook. Well, and so far he's answered well. I think that the question here becomes, do we see the protests spread outside of Tehran? We're beginning we 